Alright guys, I done did it again. Hey y'all, it's the Minty Calibre here. So, I picked up another Tac Force knife. And this Tac Force knife is the 4.5 inch SAS Rescue Scorpion with clip. And I believe, I'm wanting to say this right here is either serial number or the lot number. It is 182-91454. Maybe one of you guys can actually tell me what that number actually means. I paid $15 for it. It is their Speedster model. Tactical Rescue and Outdoor. The whole, pretty much gimmicky bullshit that most cheap knives uh offer now don't get me wrong i love tech force knives but i just don't buy into that uh i don't want a knife for tactical purposes i want a knife that i can depend on every day and one thing i do have to say is with tech force i've never had an issue with them i've owned several tech force knives uh still currently own two plus this one but um let's go ahead and get into the actual uh knife itself so as you can see the blade is pretty much all black except for this little polished or brushed area i'm not really too sure um it is stainless steel 440 um tactical line tf 692 uh usa design handmade in china so but like i said tag force is something about tag force i like i don't care if they're made in china i've never had an issue with them i like them and it's going to stay that way all right so there's two grabs I have with this knife. That is the fact that it is a 50-50 blade. So 50% serrations, 50% straight edge. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but if you see that little dot right there, that means that the, uh, or that a nick in the actual uh, paint itself in the steel or aluminum, whatever these type of handles, scales these are. But um, <clears throat> anyways... Other than that, the knife is its perfectly neat looking knife. And the reason I say that is because, well, you have this black right here going around. And then in the accents, you actually have red. So, like, you have red here and the scorpion and these two little guys right here. And the red actually surrounds the whole border of the knife, or at least the uh, scales. So, these little silver things right here on the inside, that's your liners. And the outers are your scales. And that's how knives are put together. Knife 101. Alright, so it has a nice uh, pivot here. Nice big pivot, actually. And uh, it has four little screws to hold everything together. Plus this guy right here. Um, the only other gripe that I have with it, it, it is not ambidextrous. or Well, it is, but it's mainly right-handed carry. And I really can't stand that. I can get around it because all I gotta do is put the knife on my side and... Bob's your uncle, so. Alright, so, <laughs> that being said, let's uh, move on to some of the features of the knife. It has a window breaker, a glass breaker, a seatbelt cutter, and ambidextrous thumb studs, and a flipper, it as well as it is spring-assisted. So, I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I tell you, the spring has a lot of force on it. Um, it's almost got sort of a little recoil to it. I like that. Um, I do like the whatever machining they did with the uh, scales itself because it just it feels really nice in the hand. It's not uncomfortable. Um, it gives you good purchase because I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but it's kind of um, if you ever felt one of those holographic things where like they have that little scratchy piece on it or like a vinyl record. That's what this feels like, and it's really grippy, like. Like, it's wanting to grab my finger, or my thumb, so. Alright, so. <clears throat> let's see, what do I think of the knife? Well, it's a nice knife for the price, $15.99. Um, I can't say too much on it because I have not used it yet. I will uh, use it, and then eventually I will do a review on it. So, stay tuned for that. Now, I do want to say one thing with my reviews. I have to use the product for at least a month or two before I actually do a review. That way I can get full testing in. And yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so. Talking a little bit about the blade shape. Well, this is a modifi modified clip point. I don't know why the fuck I can't speak tonight. But yeah, this is a modified clip point. If you take a look at something like draw point, clip point, same thing for the most part. But if you look at a knife like this, this is a traditional point or drop point whatever you want to call it and uh that's what we're all used to so like it comes 
and it like almost kind of rounds out a little bit and it's actually much uh, more pronounced on my uh, K bar so yeah and I'm gonna tell you how I ended up with this knife so originally I went to buy another knife like this which is a uh, master USA ballistic and uh, I believe it's master cutlery or something like that but um it was looked like this uh pretty much same handles other than the uh, pattern was different and the blade shape was different it was actually a tanto point and i love tanto point knives i don't know why i just do but it had one problem the motherfucker would not stay latched i guess it was just a fluke from the uh fucking factory i don't know don't care um it can't hurt anybody anymore so because I actually took it back in, and the girl, she looked at it, and uh, she's like, well, I don't see anything wrong with this. I said, i just give it some time. It'll actually, it won't lock up half the time, which is really surprising considering it was a brand new knife. So she just, she wasn't going to fool with it anymore, so she trunked it in the trash. I was like, wow. Yeah. But um, I picked this knife out, same price, and this one actually drew more to me because it is Tech Force, and I'm familiar with this brand. Anyways, if you think this is a cool knife, let me know. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe because it would help out a lot. Anyways, guys, this is Demented Caliber signing out.